Hi, my name is John. Welcome to a Friday Night Video. This is a strange video. I've had lots and lots of emails, people saying that somebody's trying to scam my YouTube channel. And what's happened is some bell end has put a response to every comment on the video that has to do with the monthly draw. Uh, they want them to email people and send money and all kinds. If I run a draw, it's announced on an cap. The winner is announced on an cap, and you have to contact me. It's as simple as that. I don't send emails, I don't send anything like that. Your name will be spoken out and you just get in touch. That's the way it works. It's always worked that way and it's going to carry on working that way. So if you get any stupid emails, they're not from me. I'm sorry for any inconvenience that this arsehole has caused, but it's totally out of my hands. I have deleted all the comments, but obviously people are still getting them. Um, that's basically all I wanted to say. But being as while I'm here, I'm going to put a jet engine video up, just a 10 minute or 12 minute video, just to show a little bit more progress uh, on the jet engine. Anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoy this little short video. I've got some time off over the Christmas period, and I've decided I'm definitely going to get this jet engine up and running. I've not touched it for nearly a year now. I've been having a look around and found all the bits that I've got made. I've got a lot of it done. I also have a bigger turbocharger, but I want to get this one done first. That's a flame tube, and we made that about a year ago. That goes inside here, which is a burner can. So that goes into there, and I was going to shorten the burner can to accommodate that length flame tube, but I've decided now to leave it that length and extend the flame tube. Then I can also always put more holes in down here if I need them. The end of the flame tube will fit into the slack fit and a piece of stainless like that which is held in the end of there by that ring all welded together and then that transition part there from round to square is what goes onto there. So the first thing we need to do is measure the height that we need to cut this tube. The tube wants to be a little bit short because it'll expand and contract and we want some movement. And like I say, it's going to be fitted inside of that anyway. So we need to mark the length off, cut it, weld it on and then go from there. It wants to be slightly shorter, not by much, quarter of an inch shorter. So we'll go up to the shed so we can cut that and weld it together. Stainless steel is not nice stuff to cut by hand so I'll cut it with a Probably a slitting disc, but I may try and use me well position at the turn it while it's been cut. I'm not sure how well this will work, but we'll give it a try so I can cut it nice and straight. First thing you do is mark it where it needs to be cut. Rest on. Right. That's got a decent mark on it. If I can do the same with the cutting disc, it should cut it quite nicely. I think a little bit slower than that, possibly. We'll get some eye protection on and get the cutting disc and see if we can cut it. Well, I must admit, I'm quite impressed with that. It's a nice, clean, square cut. Mm. 
That's pretty good. Nothing the matter with that. I'll probably put two or three tacks on this and then I'll put it in the work position that I welded. And this will make it a decent job. I'll try to make a decent job. Shouldn't need any filler material on this because it's a good fitting joint. It should just work together quite nicely. That's what you want a nice silver colour. When the world's blue it means it's been too hot. Then that tube's warm. Because it would be, wouldn't it? Not exactly wrong because it's been formed into that shape. Put it, you bastard! Right, we'll cut that off. It certainly makes a half decent job of things. Very happy with that. This is the transmission piece which actually takes the hot gases into the turbo charger. That's stainless steel, that coolant, and the other part's just mild steel. So I'm going to weld it with a dissimilar rod. It's not that critical, it's not like a, not like a spaceship, is it? Right, we'll give it a whirl. A little bit more power. Right, I'm sure I'll agree that's not too shabby for a mechanic it pisses about. Not easy off the camera wasn't there. But well, it's not too bad. Little 
little bit clean up with the grain and say you can see where it's oxidized where there's been no purge gas inside it. Right, so I extended the flame tube, that now goes inside of there, and it's just short of the end. And it's going to fit into that piece there, which will be welded onto there, and that's welded onto there, and that all gets welded onto there. This plate did warp a little bit with the amount of weld I put in, but it, it's on a big heavy casting, so it'll pull flat, which it is pulling flat, no problem at all. See it on there where it's straight into the turbo charger. This needs a little bit of fettling with a die grinder just to knock some of the rags off where it was welded. That's happened because it was welded with no purge on the inside, and it's what they call Dingleberry's oxidation. But that's not a bad weld along the top of there. I'm quite happy with that, so at least we're getting a little bit of little bit of progress. And this is gonna that's the way it's gonna go like that. And there's a pipe comes from here into that end, compressed air in there, and that's hopefully going to work. And possibly the next thing is to make a stand. I've got some, I think it's 30mm aluminium box section, and I'm going to make a frame up and get the turbocharger mounted. It's got to go that way, oil in the top and oil drain on the bottom. But I can orientate these any way I want, probably straight along. And then the jet pipe, which is that bit there, comes out of the back, and that's where the thrust comes out. Well, I've got a bit more interest now with it, and my interest coming back. I want to get it done. I'm definitely going to get it done over the Christmas holidays. Definitely. I've got most of the parts. It's just time, really.